In this work, we present a control architecture for quadrupedal robot locomotion, comprising of a trajectory optimization software, which generates the base and end effect of motion plans offline, a corrective policy, which generates additive deviations to this reference trajectory online, and a model-based whole body controller, which computes the desired joint positions, velocities, and feedforward torques in order to track the modified trajectory. These joint states are then tracked by the actuators present on the robot using a PD controller. We first compute a reference trajectory for different terrains and goalposts using the trajectory optimization software. We then perform policy optimization in order to obtain a policy which prioritizes stability over aggressive trajectory tracking. We train our policy using a dense reward function comprising of the robot stability metric and observe that policy trained using this reward term generates an extended feed motion plan directly corresponding to a higher stability margin. We measure the success rate obtained for tracking a pre-computed trajectory by randomly shifting the initial base position of the robot. We did this for the tasks of with and without feedback-based trajectory tracking. In the case of the stacked pallet terrain, we observed that the physical dimension of the robot was a limiting factor, often resulting in self-collision. Introduction of the corrective policy, however, resulted in an extended feed motion plan, thereby avoiding self-collision. The motion plan generated by the trajectory optimization solver for locomotion over the modular pallet terrain often resulted in stepping close to the edges. Due to this, we observed significant foot slippage while tracking the generated reference trajectory. For feedback-based trajectory tracking using the corrective policy, we observed an aggressive motion tracking behavior, especially around regions with high probability of foot slippage. In addition to the perceptive trajectory adaptation policy, we train a blind corrective policy for feedback-based trajectory tracking over flat terrain. We tested its performance in both simulation and on the physical system. We observed that introduction of the corrective policy offered better performance in comparison with trajectory tracking without feedback, even on the physical system. We also observed that our control architecture performed better even when we introduced unexpected perturbations. In this work, we presented a real-time trajectory adaptation method for tracking long-horizon motion plans. We further tested the performance of our control architecture in both simulation and on the physical system.